Okay YouTube, in the video we're going to do today, this is replacement of the uh, spindle speed control on my mill. Uh, it didn't break. I was hitting a piece down with the uh, mallet and I hit the stem and broke it off so now I can't adjust the speed on there. So in the description I'll put down the part number from Grizzly, you can get it. Uh, I also found the same, once I get the part over it, the numbers off here, and I'll put that in the description. I found it on eBay. Uh, you can get it cheaper on eBay, free shipping. It's about the same cost, but the Grizzly charge $99, $9.99 for shipping. So first we're gonna do is take this cover off here. Get up. So here's the pentiometer we're going to be replacing right here. Okay. Okay. There's a nut on the front of here that we're going to remove here. Pull the pentiometer out. I didn't mention that. Make sure you turn the power off because it's hot in this box. Okay. So here's the pentiometer. All right, so basically all we have to do is pull all these back here and re-solder these just in the same order and reassemble it. It's that simple. Now we're gonna go ahead and solder this. Uh, I'm not a pro solder. I've only actually ever done it one other time, so. Uh, let's see how everything goes. I'm just going to cut one wire at a time and do this. Uh, that way I don't get the order of the wires confused at all. My iron has been pl is plugged in, it's warmed up. first one. Okay. Now we want the second one here. And all I have is this thick stuff. I wish I had something thin to it down. Make work what I got. And we'll do the last one here.
same thing. Okay. All done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let those cool and I'm going to pull these uh, things back down over it. I don't want to melt them. And then uh, we will uh, mount it back in here and we'll do a little test before I put it all back together. Okay, that was heat and shrink over there. So I just went ahead and used a little triple tape. That, that'll work. Uh, you can always buy a new heat shrink and put on top of it. So we're going to put this in here. There's a little little uh, hole here. It's got like a little dimple. Let me show you that one. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there's a little dimple on this thing. You just got to get that dimple in there. Put the washer on there. We'll put the nut on there. And then we're going to plug it in and, and test it before I put all this back together. this back in. Okay, this knob here, I punched the end of it out here, and it's got this right here. You turn this little little nut in here and it actually has a collar that closes down or so you can tighten it so it doesn't spin around. So let's put that on. Stick it over here. Let's get this thing tightened up. Now, when I ordered this from Grizzly, you know, on the order thing, it said that they sold the pentiometer and this separately, and I just ordered the pentiometer, and it actually came with that, just so you know. I didn't break my other one, it just came with it. So, when I was looking at order numbers, it just had two different part numbers that came together. So, I got that there, so it stops there, and it goes over to here. So, let's plug it back in and put it through its faces. when you're nailing them parts. I had this device pulled over to them like this and I caught that and broke it off. So that's how I did it. And it sheared it off down here at the shaft. So, you know, I, I couldn't even turn it. I mean, it still worked. It just ran at one speed or two speed, whatever number it was in high and whatever number it was in low. So, um, pretty simple fix. Thanks for watching.